ABC 15 celebrating pride across the LGBTQ plus community and celebrating a hero on the hardwood. It's not a player. It's not a coach. It's not a fan we're talking about, but an officiant, usually not in the spotlight. But this referee and Valley native made headlines and broke barriers for a very personal call he made that went beyond a single game or basketball or all of pro sports for that matter as the NBA's first openly gay man to serve as a referee. 26 seasons later and referee Billy Kennedy still runs the court just as fast as the players half his age like he did in this year's NBA Finals. And to think it all started right here in the Valley for the South Phoenix native. Tell me how did little Billy get into basketball and being a referee? I was playing basketball. It was one Saturday morning. Um, the eight year old games were getting ready to start and the referee didn't show up. The, the director at the time was Vince Gray, and Vince Gray just kind of he said, is there anybody here who wants to referee? And I went like this, and it's been history since then. History in many senses of the word. At age 30, Billy would enter the NBA. Now, with more than a quarter century under his belt, for most of that time, he was hiding a deep, dark secret he worried could derail his entire career and life as he knew it. It scared me to death. Billy was hiding his sexual orientation. His identity as a gay man remained under wraps. Now that I've accomplished getting into the NBA, I don't want to jeopardize that. Emotionally, what kind of a toll did that take on you to have to hide? Yeah, it was... I, I, it was, it was I don't even know how to explain how difficult it was. As a gay person, we get really good at hiding our lives and not really living authentically because I think there's so much fear that if we do live authentically, we'll get rejected. That is a, that's a very good comment. Then came the moment in December of 2015 during a game in Mexico City. A player was upset at a call Billy made and after he was ejected, he proceeded to run across the floor and use the word F to me on the floor several times, multiple times. Kennedy says the league took swift action, deciding to suspend the player for one game. Billy's decision, though, didn't come as quickly. It was the call this season referee knew he had to make. But for a man who makes judgment calls for a living, this one would prove to be a game changer in more ways than one. That's where I had to make a choice. I was going to say, now, now it's out. I mean, because now everybody's going to be asking me, well, are you? Are you? You're going to be dealing with this everywhere you go for the rest of your life unless you, you make the call. In an interview with Yahoo Sports, 11 days after the incident, Billy officially came out saying, quote, I am proud to be an NBA referee and I am proud to be a gay man. What kind of reaction did you get after that? It was, everybody was in shock because we didn't, again, we didn't know how this was going to pan out. Uncharted waters here. Things happen for a reason, you know, and to me, when you really look back over it, you know, it was a blessing. Six months later, the NBA would take part in its first ever Pride Parade. What does Pride mean to you? Every time I see the word and I see it in its colors and everything, I go, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of being a part of Pride and, and will continue to do so as, as, as to the best of my ability. And so many of us in this community stand on your shoulders, Billy. Thank you for that. In the years since Billy made that call, he says we've actually seen a lot of progress across all pro sports leagues. At the same time, though, he says there's still more work that needs to be done to make sure all of these games are inclusive for everybody. For more of our interview, you can head to the main page of abc15.com and you can check out the story there. And for more resources on Pride, you can head to our website as well. For ABC 15 Arizona, I'm Nick Saletti.